this video, I want to talk you through five Rolling Stones songs that we can play very simply with four basic open chords. So there's no bar chords in any of these. All of these are very beginner friendly. We're changing them a little bit from some of the original recordings. Some of the originals are in open G tuning and things like that. But I do have tutorials for many of these songs, like separate tutorials for the full song, going a bit more in depth than we're going to go for this video. I've also got chord sheets which I link to from my website. The link to all of that you'll find in the description on YouTube and somewhere on the page on my website, which is at andyguitar.co.uk. The first song we're looking at is Sympathy for the Devil. This is using the chords E major, D major, A major, and also B7. So uh, the start of this song uh, actually inspired uh, Let Me Entertain You by Robert Williams as well. And you can see why, because if you put a capo first fret, basically play that song as well. Uh, if you're not aware of Sympathy for the Devil, it kind of goes something like this. Uh, Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I've been around for a long, long year. Stole many a man's soul and faith. The only other section of that you need another chord for is the chorus. Uh, which goes like this. Pleased to meet you, hope you guess my name. But what's puzzling you is the nature of my game. Now it's really the rhythm of this song that makes it, because without it, um, it is kind of, it's very basic. Uh, and this took the Rolling Stones a long time to figure out in the studio, to, and they, they ended up going for kind of a rhythm done on the bongos, ba dum ba dum ba dum ba So I covered a full tutorial of how we can do a strumming pattern to this and how that would work uh, in my tutorial video for this song. Link will be in the description below. But I wanna move on now, because I just wanna do a summary of these songs and what we can learn from them. The next one I've got on my list is Honky Tonk Woman, which would originally be in open G tuning, but we can play it in standard tuning and with just the chords G major, C major, D major, and A major. Now I'll demo how to do this in standard tuning now, but I will mention that if you are wanting to learn a bit about how to play in open G tuning and how to play most Rolling Stones songs exactly as Keith Richards does. Honky Tonk Woman is a great starting point, not least because the start of it actually uses no fingers on, on the chord playing hand because it is open G. And the other chords to give you a window into that world, C major would be with one finger, a D major with one finger, and that's at the fifth fret and the seventh fret, and then also A major, just at the first finger, uh, second fret. So a great way into that is to start to get used to playing the A major chord with one finger. Kind of like this. This is really useful for any uh, particularly guys out there, perhaps with bigger kind of chunky fingers, who might really struggle playing A major like this or even like this. You can use the one finger A chord, not only as a way to play your beginner you know, basic A major chord, but as a way into this kind of rolling stance. All the way that Keith Richards plays all these songs, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later in this video, in the next song actually, but let me just demonstrate first of all how we can do Honky Tonk Woman with four basic open chords. I met a gin soaked bar and queen in Memphis She tried to take me upstairs for a ride She had to heave me right across her shoulder Cause I just can't seem to drink you off my mind it's the honky tonk women. Gimme, gimme, gimme the honky tonk blues. So hopefully that gives you a window into how we can play that particular song, but also many 
Rolling Stones songs without open G tuning, in standard tuning, basic open chords, and just doing a strumming version of them. But trying to keep all the coolness and the rhythms in particular, trying to keep the rhythms of that original uh, recording of those original guitar parts, basically. Which is something we can do also in Start Me Up, the Rolling Stones song, Start Me Up, which only has four chords, whether you do it in open G tuning, or whether you do it the way that we're gonna look at here in standard tuning. Let me show you that first of all on electric guitar. So this song, like all the songs we're looking at here, worked fantastic on acoustic or electric guitar. In standard tuning, we need a capo at the third fret and we're gonna play this essentially, starting with a one finger A chord that I mentioned before. And then we go for the D over A chord. Now this is our gateway chord even in standard tuning to how to play the Keith Richards style open G tuning. Because whether you do that riff, that what I've just played there, in standard tuning or open G, it kind of feels the same. So this one finger A chord to D over A, which by the way is also a ton of other songs, but it's also uh, all right now. That's where a lot of people learn it. It's uh, probably the easiest one might be Rock and Roll Damnation by ACDC. But this is, I, I think, even easier because we've got the capo on, I guess. So even though it might be a harder riff. Uh, and then what we're doing here is we can do the blues riff, the blues shuffle. By playing this, which is a G5 chord, as long as we don't have that first finger down, because we're going to need it for the riff, and we mute the underside of string 5 with the uh, underside of the middle finger here. Very Rolling Stones type chord, if you, uh, <laughs> quite a sweary chord, I guess. Uh, pretty rock and roll. But that first finger uh, moves to here, which is the second fret of string four. So that's the, the equivalent of that, but on a G chord. Useful to know. And then uh, the riff in total, A, D over A twice. And then the chorus and the rest of the song. So the only other section of the song is the chorus, and uh, it's one finger A chord to a D major chord. You make a grown man cry. You make a grown man cry. Spread out the oil, the gasoline. I walk a smooth ride of me, mean machine. And even if we add other uh, riffs in there, so spread out the oil, the gasoline, you know, anything else we add to it, it doesn't, doesn't mean it's got another chord in it, even if you did this in open G tuning, it's still a four chord song at its core. So really useful to know that these harder songs that maybe use different tunings and stuff can still actually be very simple at their core. So you just need to get a few techniques down to be able to do them. Exactly the same as that can be said of the next song on my list, which is It's Only Rock and Roll But I Like It. Here's a quick blast of that on electric guitar. Uh, and I've done a tutorial for this on electric guitar, a bit more like they do it live, but also a simplified acoustic version also. <laughs>
So the chords for the vast majority of this song are E major, A major, G and D. Now there is a short middle eight in this song which uses a B power chord. A beginner way of playing that would be a B7. But the main reason I'm making this list is to give you songs that you would be able to do if you only knew all the basic open chords. So I had to stick this one on the list, especially because if you want to add more of a riff content, if you want to add the blues riff, and kind of play it like if I could stick a pen in my heart the spit it all over the stage and I cry I, I. if you want to do it like that you can if you want to do a basic strumming version kind of like I know it's only rock and roll but I like it like it and yes I do just using the easiest chords to play on guitar electric or acoustic you can that's why it's made it onto this list, but it is cheating a little bit because the B chord is, is strictly a fifth. A fifth chord, oh my word, I didn't even know there were five chords. Which brings me on to the fifth song on my list and the final song, Street Fighting Man. This is the only one that I haven't done another tutorial for uh, as a separate video. So let me do a more complete tutorial for Street Fighting Man now. No capo, and the four chords we need are, oh darn it, the F major chord, now you can play that as a bar, or like this, and this kind of hybrid F chord, uh, which I teach in my Improver course and in my Intermediate course at andyguitar.co.uk. Look at loads of different options for the F, but this is the best one because we're then going to go to C. Uh, the other chords in the song are G major and D major. Now I was lucky enough to see the Rolling Stones live uh, in Barcelona a few years ago, and this song Particularly when it, well, basically, when this song gets to the chorus, the punch was just insane from the guitars. And this was on, I didn't naturally know how to play, actually. I, d I didn't know the chords in this one before I saw them live. But it kicks so much, I'm like, wow, that's an open G chord right there. Because it must have just been all the open strings and just bang. And it, it wasn't just the loudness of it, it's the tone of it just hit. You know, it must have hit all the way to the back of the stadium. It was at um, Barcelona Olympic Stadium where I saw them. I will be doing more stuff on open G tuning, and I will link to it from this video for sure um, when we got that, but that G chord really hit when I saw them live. Here's the gist of it though, using the F chord, the C major, G, and D major chords with no capo. Everywhere I hear the sound of marching, charging feet, boy. Cause summer's here and the time is right for fighting in the street, boy. But what can a poor boy do except to sing in a rock and roll band? Cause in sleepy London town There's just no place for Street Fighting Man Ha! Huh, what a cool song! Even that in, not in open G, that G chord still just hits. I guess it's it's the one to the five. The key of this song would be C, and then going to that five chord word, what can a poor boy do? Ah, really, really cool song. I'll link to the chord sheet to uh, that on my website, andyguitar.co.uk. The link will be at the top of the description. And of course, if you want to find more songs using chords you know by bands you love, and you want to find them quickly, easily, and at your level, whatever that level's at, whether beginner or advanced, just check out the songs page on my website where you can filter all the songs that I've ever done in 12 years of making song tutorials and videos on YouTube. Uh, and on my website, like the filtering system that's on my website, which allows you to search by band, by chord. I think it's a, a much better experience than YouTube, so I really hope you check it out, and I hope to see you in another video. Enjoy jamming along some Rolling Stones songs. Mm -hmm.